first of all, of course, please introduce yourself. Who are you? What is your position? Uh, I'm Eric Monicelli, and uh, I'm a community strategist at Naughty Dog. And I'm Anne Maya. I'm a community strategist at Naughty Dog, too. Okay, so oh, what actually right. is a job? What yeah, does a right. community strategist do? Well, uh, we <laughs> come to events like this <laughs> to meet our fans. Yeah. Uh, we talk to press, too, but like I, I think one of the more exciting things that we do is um, we come to events, we talk to our fans, we interact with uh, basically our community, uh, and it's like they're really one of the best groups of people we've ever met. So that's probably the most exciting part. <laughs> okay. But I can imagine you are getting a lot of pressure and heat from from the fans when things don't quite work out right. If if the game uh, has got a delay or stuff like that, how do you handle that? Yeah, I mean it depends on what the fan. You know, it's a conversation. It's always that sort of heat, that sort of pressure is always. It's, it's created from passion, right? They care about it. And we care about it deeply too, so we just have to understand what they want, we talk to them about it, and then you sort of work it out. It's just like anything else, so it's kind of cool because it's, it's weird, like a lot of people go in, they're like, oh, you must get complaints all the time. It's like, yeah, but I, that's great. People give a damn, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's cool. Okay. So, there we can see a little bit of gameplay of Uncharted 4, yes. um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the game. Is it going to be the last one with Nathan Drake? Well, it is called The Thief's End. So. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, okay. What let's, does let's it just mean? Say, he dies at the end, right? He dies yeah. at the end. Come on, guys. Right? Right? Sure. What a... Yeah. <laughs> sure. What a okay. sure he dies. Uh, no, I mean, we, obviously, uh, we don't want to give too much of the story yeah, away, but sure. um, the, the core just... You can see the, it here as well. So yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't Perfect. have to twist, have to twist our legs all the time. Perfect. Um, the core gist of it is that it, it's a story on a, on a high level. It's about um, sort of the, the tension between having a normal sort of like family life and then that thrill-seeking need for adventure. Um, you know, when we left Nathan in Uncharted 3, he had settled down with Elena, they got married, um, you know, so that's what he's been doing for the last few years. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, his brother Sam shows up. Sam's in trouble. Sam says, I need your help. We're going to go find this awesome uh, lost pirate colony called Libertalia. Um, let's go on this wild adventure. But Nathan's still married, so like, what does that mean? How do you balance that and um, mm -hmm. sort of the the tensions between all that? And that's sort of what they're exploring throughout the game. Yeah, you mentioned a story. Um, it is always a big and important thing for Uncharted, right? I mean, it would be so much easier to do just a big, big action title with all <laughs> the shootouts and just whatever. We that never mind the story. Yeah. Is it really important thing to you? Can you explain why? Sure. I mean, I think the the narrative and the stories we put together are really what draws uh, our our players into the game, and really what has been making our games stand out uh, from our studio for a long time. Uh, because it is it, you're becoming invested in what, who the characters are, and we put so much stock into making sure that the characters not only have believable performances, um, but that you grow with them as you're playing the game, as you're playing across several games. Um, and that's really been our goal, is that, you know, that you've come to know these characters really well, to the point to, you know, as well as our actors do. I mean, our actors actually, when we do um, performance capture, when we do table reads, they will actually provide suggestions on how the script changes or the dialogue changes because they feel that they know the, the characters so well. We want our players, our fans, to know the characters that well as well. So without that narrative, we're not going to have sort of that glue uh, yeah, and sure. sort of attraction and investment from you. Yeah. And creating that sort of emotional connection to our characters where people feel like, all right, you know, I can I understand can what they're going through. Yeah, can yeah. even even just sort of like a, it's maybe you can't relate to the fact that you're hanging on the side yeah. of the cliff, but <laughs> well, you know the, the, I the do, I do. Go, they, I do it all the time. It's my weekend. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know, that that sort of uh, the feeling of it, that sort of emotional impact that sort of hits you. So you know, that's that's important. But as you said, a lot of fans have a very deep emotional bond to Uncharted and all the characters. So I guess it's uh, once again a lot of pressure because you're Uncharted 4. You cannot screw up in any way. <laughs> Nathan Drake has, oh, yeah. Yeah, well. he has to be this and that and he cannot be that and we can't go really uh, go in this direction. It's, is this uh, something to consider all the time? Uh, I think in everything we do, uh, you know, everyone has the best interests of the game and the characters together, and so we're, we're really always trying to carefully craft uh, both the narrative, both the type of experience that you get, 
in it. And so, um, and, and the studio, everyone really, really cares about Uncharted and cares about the characters. So you have, you know, over 200 people who are looking at this game every single day, trying to make it the best it can be. So you're getting all those sorts of inputs from all sorts of ways. So if something feels off or something could be better, you're going to hear about it. Uh, <laughs> and and yeah. but, the, but the thing is, it, it, it improves the game. It, it you know, it, it sort of that ability for anyone in the studio to come to to Neil uh, to talk about story or to come to any of the lead game designers to talk about uh, you know a particular section they're working on and provide feedback. I think that's something that really makes our game uh, you know special and, and what's able to carry on the traditions and hallmarks of the Uncharted series in every game that we have. Uh, talking about special and good characters, which is your favorite character of the Uncharted series? Man, um, I, I, for some particular reason, and it's sort of like he's, I'm going to make another obscure reference, but he's sort of like a, a Rosencrantz character, or cameraman Jeff, is amazing <laughs> <laughs> from Uncharted 2. Um, yeah. He's just sort of like this weird, yeah, he, he's I know. inserted into the story. He doesn't really play too big of a role, but like there's, you wonder what happened, you know, like after, uh, clearly you're not sure if he dies or not, but yeah. that sort of thing. So it's, it's. Always, I've always had an affinity for him, but um, and we had a, a video editor for a while who was named Jeff, so it sort of like <laughs> came together. Okay. Um, he feels honored. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a little bit of a personal thing, but you know, there's so many great characters throughout the series that it's hard to really say. That was a Hamlet reference. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you can see we are very, we are doing very intelligent uh, entertainment. Here. Yeah. And what about you? It's funny because neither of us are going to pick main characters. I think one of my favorite characters, and I think a lot of people, uh, it's one of their favorite too, is Eddie Raja from yeah. Drake's Fortune. And the thing is, it's you've never seen him die, so he could still be alive yeah. somewhere. Yeah. He could pop up again. The old tricks. I, yeah. I always, I, you know, every time we go through it, and it's like, I'm not the only one, but I always say, look, we never saw him die. Like, maybe yeah. there's a place for him in this next game. Never know. Never yeah. know. I, I'm going to keep holding out hope that he comes back <laughs> somehow. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. All right. Arnie does uh, motion capture for Eddie in his spare time. That's what <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Um, all right, there is another question. Uh, I wonder if I can ask it anyway, but I will do it. Yeah. Just I try will it. Do. Um, I heard that Amy Henning left the studio. Was that a great loss? I mean, she was she was part of writing the stories, like these deep, important stories for the game. Do you, do you think you guys miss her, actually, and yeah. the, the work she does? Yeah, I mean, uh, whenever anybody leaves the studio, it's always, you know, a, a change in the sort of uh, way things work. and, and just like when anybody leaves any job, pretty much. So, you know, it was one of those things where it was the, when it when it happened, it was a good moment in time, and we sort of just all Naughty Dog's a very collaborative studio, and we've always worked. All our games are essentially like shared across everything. So, um, you know, we were all working together on the game, and, and Neil uh, stepped up and st uh, picked up a lot of the slack, and it has taken off and run with it. So it's yeah. it's been great. Um, you know, wish her the best and. It's been a good experience. All right. Um, I got one thing uh, left. Um, talking about E3, we saw uh, Uncharted 4 at E3, obviously. And of course, it's always a very big, great moment for the fans. Everybody's cheering. Yeah. Um, and I think you can, you know, you got a show fire hit on your hands. You got Uncharted 4. So, um, well. We hope. We hope. <laughs> yeah, we hope. <laughs> but but uh, how was uh, that situation for you, for, for Naughty Dog? You know, uh, unveiling uh, to, the, to the people for the first time some sequences, things we never seen before. Are you still nervous as well? Oh, yeah. It, we're always really tense because we're working so hard inside the studio that we don't have a, a good idea of what, it, what we're working on looks like from the outside, from someone that hasn't been working on this the entire time. And we see all the rough edges we, th we see the things that could be better or things that might not be as perfect as we want them to be but you know we have deadlines to finish um, so for us like leading up to that moment we're like well what will people really think of this like yeah you know it feels great we, we put everything that we can into it but like is it really as good as you know we sort of feel like it yeah. could be and so when that moment happens and sort of people are cheering we get that reaction uh, that's really one of the greatest things uh, you know it really motivates us to continue making games to continue finishing Uncharted 4 it was really a great moment for everybody. So what else is uh, still to do for you guys C concerning Un Uncharted 4? Because Everything. <laughs> <laughs> the release right. is getting nearer and nearer, but what are your uh, next, next steps? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we're building out more of the game. We've uh, been playtesting multiplayer in the studio pretty much daily, so multiplayer is taking form and, you know, figuring out what makes it fun. Um, we're going to be talking about that pretty soon. Um, and there, there's just a lot going on um, to just, you know, take this slice and this amazing sort of thing we made at E3 and then uh, sort of perpetuate it down the line into this huge, full surefire hit, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of yeah. where we're headed. Okay, I hate to say it, guys, but you know, you know what's coming now. We're running out of time mm -hmm. already. We're terribly sorry, but thanks so much yeah, for talking thank to you. us. Yeah. Thanks for thank taking you. your time. It was really great and really fun. And one last thing, as every guest has to do it, I said he has to do it. Every guest has to do it. Please sign our canvas. Uh, give us your autograph. Okay. Draw something. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you know, you see yeah. a skull right there from the guy from Until Dawn, and we got some. This use uh, should be a uh, um, This should be supposed to be a Assassin's Creed. I don't okay. know what the Logo. hell it is. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. We're giving it away <laughs> at the end of Game Try something. So, so okay. please um, use a canvas and uh, yeah. The pen's are over it, here. Draw something. Cool. Whatever you want to do.